Hey guys, thanks for watching the video. Visit my blog at abstinphotography.com for all of your photography tutorials. In this video, what I would like to talk about is an easy step in making old time photos. These photos can be a lot of fun, especially if you get just the right subject. In this photo here, we see a Civil War reenactor. I really like going to a lot of their events that they have throughout the year around home. Uh, if you get the opportunity to visit such an event in your area, I highly recommend that you do it. Uh, take your camera with you and have a lot of fun. And uh, taking these photos into Photoshop, you will be able to do some amazing work. Now normally in doing an old time photo, we will set our camera in the sepia mode. Uh, to get a, a little bit of a head start on that however that isn't necessary to do these photos I actually was at this event shooting for another event and that's one of the reasons why I did not use my sepia mode with my camera but that's not really an issue in Photoshop the first thing that we want to do is to duplicate our background layer now that can simply be done by pressing the control and J button or if you would like you can simply go up to layers and duplicate layer and we'll call it a background copy that's no big deal we will come back to this layer in just a few moments however I want to go ahead and get the color change of this photo now one of the first things that I like to do is to go down and simply create an hue and saturation adjust layer. Very simple steps that can do some dramatic effects to your photos. Then simply drop down our tab here and go to the sepia. And as you can see our photo is in sepia. It looks a little more all already it looks a little more old-fashioned uh, more of an older photo but we're not finished yet one of the other things that I like to do is also to create a levels layer each photo can be just a little different but these are just some of the basic steps to walk you through we're going to darken this just a little bit not much at all but just a touch to get just where we want to be at now you remember the layer that we created here the background copy we're gonna go back and select it because there's another neat little trick that will really help make this photo look old once you highlight it go up to your filters tab simply drop it down go to noise and then add noise now then we can see here exactly how much noise that we want to add to our photo or take away. I don't recommend adding too much, however, just add enough noise to make the photo look the way you would like. Once we do that, if we decide that we have added too much noise, all that we have to do is simply go down here and drop down the opacity of that layer a little. It is very easy to do to create some great photo effects to make your photos really stand out. And once again, I highly recommend that you visit some events in your area where there is reenactment. You can have a lot of fun. It is enjoyable. I offer to give your photos to some of the participants they'll really enjoy it and you will also spread your name around by doing that they'll show the photos to their friends and really help you get recognition for your work anyways I hope these tips help you in creating some great old time photos for more great photography tips please visit my blog at abstinphotography.com and be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel. This is a lot of fun to do these videos, and I hope to do a lot more tips. So, thanks for your time.